Today, in this video, we will be discussing about the problems related to resistance, resistivity and Ohm's law. Let's discuss the first problem. A coil consists of 1000 turns of copper wire having a cross-sectional area of 0.8 mm square. The mean length per turn is 80 cm and the resistivity of copper is 0 0.02 mu ohm meter. Find the resistance of the coil and the power absorbed by the coil when connected across 100 volt DC supply. So in the problem, the area and the length of the coil is given. So area is equal to 0.8 millimeter square. So we convert it into 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square. And the length of the coil is uh, 80 centimeter per turn. So it is 0.8 into 1000 which is 800 meter. To find the resistance we apply the equation R is equal to rho L by A. By substituting the values we get the resistance value as 20 ohm. Now the power absorbed is equal to V square by R where V is equal to 100 volt. So 100 square by 20 gives 500 watt. In the second problem Find the resistance of 1000 meter of a copper wire which is 20 millimeter square in cross section. The resistance of the copper is 1 by 56 ohm per meter length and 1 millimeter square cross section. What will be the resistance of another wire of the same material 3 times as long and 1 half area of cross section? So in this uh, two cases are given. In the first case the length is 1000 meter and the area is 20 millimeter square and the resistance we have to find. In the second case, the length is 1 meter, area is 1 millimeter square and uh, the resistance is 1 by 56 ohm. In both the cases, the resistivity are not provided. So, we will be uh, substituting the equation R is equal to rho L by A. And uh, considering the ratio R1 by R2, and substituting the values of the length and area, we get the value as 50. So R1 is equal to 50 R2, uh, where we have R2's value already. So 50 into 1 by 56, and we get the value as 25 by 28 ohm. And in the third case, it is given as length is 3 times the length of L1, and uh, uh, area is uh, half of A1, and we have to find the resistance. So again applying the values in the ratio R3 by R1 and substituting the values of the length and the area we get the answer as 6. So R3 is equal to 6 R1 and we know the value of R1 now so 6 into 25 by 28 which gives the answer as 75 by 14 ohm. In the third problem a lead wire and an iron wire are connected in parallel. And their respective specific resistance are given in the ratio 47 is to 30. The former carries 80 percentage more current than the latter. And the latter is 48 percentage longer than the former. So we have to determine the ratio of the cross-sectional area. Now let's represent the lead by 1 and iron by 2. So uh, row 1 by row 2 is given as 47 by 30. Now Assuming the current of I2 as 1, that is the uh, current in ion, so I1 will be 80 percentage more than the current in I2, so which is equal to 1.8 I2. Now L1 is assumed as 1, then L2 will be 48 percentage longer than the former, which is 1.48 L1. So here we will be using the equations R1 is equal to rho L1 by A1 and R2 is equal to rho L2 by A2. Now the current equation is I is equal to B by R. So substituting this equation for both the cases uh, and considering the ratio I2 by I1 we get R1 by R2 and now we will be substituting the equation for R1 and R2 here and now we can find the ratio of A2 by A1 and substituting the values of the current, resistivity ratio and length. 
we will be getting the area of cross sectional ratio as 0.52 now in the next problem a 16 ohm resistor is connected to a 8 volt battery what will be the current flowing in the resistor here the resistance value is given as 16 ohm and the voltage is 8 volt so here we will be using the equation of ohm's law to find the current which is i is equal to v by r and substituting the values of resistance and volt we get the value of current as 0.5 ampere or 500 milliamp so a current of 500 milliampere is flowing through the resistor a current of 100 milliampere flows in a 65 ohm resistor what voltage drop or the potential difference will be developed across the resistor so in this problem we have to find the potential difference developed across the resistor so here we will be using the equation v is equal to ir where the values of i and r are given so i is equal to 100 milliampere which is equal to 0.1 ampere and r is equal to 65 ohm by substituting these values in the equation v is equal to ir we get the value of voltage as 6.5 volt so a potential difference of 6.5 volt is developed across the resistor similarly in this problem we have to find the value of resistance where a voltage drop of 25 volt appears across a resistor in which a current of 1 milliampere flows so uh, the voltage and the current values are given here and we will be substituting it in the equation r is equal to v by i which is equal to 25 volt by 0 0.001 ampere we get a value of 25 kilo ohm a 100 volt lamp has a resistance of 255 ohm find the current taken by the lamp and its power rating in watts also calculate the energy it will be consuming in 24 hours so here voltage and resistance are given so substituting it in equation i is equal to v by r gives the current value as 0.39 ampere now we have to find the power rating so the equation of power is equal to v into i where v is equal to 100 and i is equal to 0.39 ampere so we get a power as 39 watts now the energy is calculated using the equation power into time uh, so 39 into 24 which is 24 hours so we get as 936 watts hours thank you for watching the video for more details, please visit our website or mail to us.